Let's ultrasound. On today's edition of Breast Ultrasound Pathology Gallery, let's talk about papillomatosis versus juvenile papillomatosis. Papillomatosis is a type of hyperplasia, and this is proliferation of the breast tissue with or without atypia. It results in small areas of cell growth within a duct. Papillomatous growths are usually not as well defined as a solitary papilloma is, and this is greater than five papillomatous growths within a localized segment of tissue, and this can be found unilaterally or bilaterally and it's less likely to cause bloody nipple discharge than a solitary papilloma. Note that this is associated with an increased risk of breast cancer. When extensive, a mastectomy may be needed. Ultrasound features of papillomatosis will be solid material that's ill-defined as separate masses within a duct, with associated characteristic hypervascularity. And when extensive, you may see this throughout many ducts and many segments of the breast tissue. Juvenile papillomatosis is also known as Swiss cheese disease. And this is papillomatosis in the ducts plus extensive cyst formation. And this occurs in women less than age 30, and it's rare. And this is also associated with an increased risk of breast cancer. And usually this is going to occur more peripherally in the breast than a solitary papilloma, which is most commonly found in the subareolar region. The ultrasound appearance is going to be complex. There's going to be solid papillomatous masses plus multiple cystic components present. It's going to be heterogeneous with internal vascularity. 